Good evening. There's a difficult rescue operation underway tonight in WA's remote outback. A couple and their adult son stranded outside Mount Magnet for five days are being helped to safety by local pastoralists. Rebecca Johns is at Windsor Station tonight where they were last seen. Beck, the trio were finally found this morning. Tim, after a massive search effort from both land and air, it took just 24 hours for the Gillis family to be found. They were located two hours north of Windsor Homestead, where I am right now earlier this morning. The trio found sheltering inside their car after blowing several tyres. Windsor Homestead in WA's remote outback. It's 540 kilometres northeast of Perth and where Chris and Liliana Gillis and their son Jonathan set off from to look at a gold prospect. For five days, the trio were missing until 11 o'clock this morning. The dogger has found them and the officers would have to be guided in by the plane. Um, yeah, very relieved and uh, we didn't have a yeah, fatality on our hands. There was a big operation to find them with 18 police and SES officers on the ground and three planes searching from the sky. Early today, vehicle tracks were found on an old fence line 110 kilometres northeast of Windsor. Then hours later, the family's stricken truck was discovered just south of that with five flat tyres. The uh, terrain, as I understand it, was particularly rough, uh, led to some vehicle malfunctions and that's obviously a part of the investigation that will still be ongoing. Police say all three are uninjured. It's not known how long they'd been stranded for. The operation to rescue the family and get them back may take hours still. It's a pretty rough, rough and rugged terrain and, um, yeah, uh, hopefully they're out by late tonight. Police say the Gillises did exactly the right thing by staying with their vehicle. Their advice to anyone else camping or prospecting in the outback is to always take an EPIRB with them. And uh, just let people know your travel plans. Make sure you're well prepared. Take food and supplies with you in excess of what you planned uh, your trip's going to be. Alice Pooley, Nine News. And that rescue operation is expected to take at least a few more hours, but Rebecca Johns, the family at least, is not injured. Tim, it's understood that a group of locals from a nearby station have made their way to the family with fresh tyres for their car. It's understood the family will then follow them back to their homestead where they'll recover for the evening before driving back uh, to their home in Boddington sometime tomorrow. Now, police say the family are in good spirits. They are uninjured and have plenty of food and water. No doubt great relief for their family and friends tonight.